Promote your brand here at Viral Hip Hop News. Email me, Sam Ant at thehiphopnews.com. No wait, let's go. What up, what up, y'all? It's your man Sam Ant here at Viral Hip Hop News. Go ahead and hit that like button. Smash that notification bell. And if you're not subscribed to Viral Hip Hop News, ladies and gentlemen, what are you waiting for? Subscribe right now to the brand. Appreciate each and every one of y'all. All right, let's get to work. All right, I'm not going to lie to y'all. Did not expect to report on this this evening. These two names, obviously, Tiffany Haddish and Aries Spears are comedians, and we've talked about them on the platform before for various things, but nothing, and I mean nothing like this. Now, the two comedians are being sued by two siblings going by Jane Doe and John Doe, who claim they have been traumatized for life as a result of allegedly being groomed when they were children. Now, the boy also claims to have been molested by not only one, but both defendants. Now, currently, Tiffany Haddish and Aries Spears are in a lawsuit alleging that they groomed a 14-year-old girl and 7-year-old boy, her brother, coercing them into explicit skits. This is according to the lawsuit. Now, also in the lawsuit, the older sister said that she was 14 when Haddish gained her trust and convinced her to film a sexually suggested video with Haddish teaching her how to mimic fellatio for the skit. Now, the allegations get even more nasty and disturbing. In the suit, she claims her younger brother was only seven when Haddish brought him to a home where Spears and Haddish molested him, filming a funny or die video tiled through a pedophile's eyes. Now, Tiffany's attorney, Andrew Brettler, says the lawsuit is purely an extortion attempt, telling local outlets and things like that that the plaintiff's mother has been trying to assert these bogus claims against Haddish for years. Now, Butler continues, every attorney who has initially taken her case, and there were several, ultimately dropped the matter once it became clear that these claims were mer meritless, excuse me, and Miss Haddish would not be shaken down. Now, Miss Morris has her adult daughter representing her in this lawsuit. The two of them were together, faced the consequence of pursuing this frivolous action. The siblings claim Haddish was friends with their mother, and they say the video featuring John Doe was published online via Funny or Die when he was too young to consent. Now, in their suit, the sisters say her resulting trauma has prevented her from dating because she's scared she will be taken advantage of and led down a path of false trust like the path that Haddish led her down. Both siblings say they have developed social disorders, and the brother claims he is so afraid of being watched and recorded, he places band-aids over all cameras or electronics. The siblings also say their mother tried to reach a $15,000 settlement with Spears over an alleged molestation video. They are going after Haddish and Spears for damages. Very damning, very troubling. We've heard these kind of stories before. A lot of them being false. Some of them being true. We hear and know the nasty conspiracies that go around about Hollywood. We also have to keep in mind before we jump to any kind of crazy conclusions that we must see facts and facts must be presented before we can go ahead and damn Tiffany Haddish and damn Ari Spears for these absolutely disgusting acts that are being displayed in this lawsuit. Now, if in fact this is true, they're absolutely disgusting and this is tore up. This is fucked up on all levels. If it isn't and these people are trying to extort money, then they need to be reprimanded and handled in an accordingly fashion too because you are out here destroying people's names, you are out here destroying people's reputations, and we know today, in this day and age, you are proven innocent, or no, you are guilty, excuse me, until proven innocent, not the other way around. So we just got to keep our eye on this situation. Tiffany Haddish's legal team says this is absolute nonsense. Haven't heard much from Ari Spears camp. Don't know if we will. We'll keep you updated. Funny or Die released a statement saying they had nothing to do with this situation. So it just seems to be ongoing. We will find out uh, once other news and once other information is presented to us. But before, like I said, we start demonizing and deeming Aerie Spears and Tiffany Haddish guilty before proven innocent, let's just wait and see the facts and let's just chill and keep an eye on the situation. But y'all leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think of this crazy situation. You see the website up top, thehiphopnews.com, the official website of Viral Hip Hop News. And check me out, man. I appreciate each and every one of y'all. Like, comment, subscribe, and please share this video if you like it and you rock with it. Sam Ant, CEO of the brand Viral Hip Hop News. Until next time, until next story. Love y'all. Peace.